Hello everyone, Zane here, welcome to another Final Fantasy XIV video. Today I'm going to show you guys what to do with your clan hunt nuts in preparation for Dawn Trail. So I did a video prior to this, but we were doing Shadowbringers accessories, but now there's a better way to use your nuts to prepare for Dawn Trail, and that is with the Endwalker accessories. So in Razad Han at X10.5, Y7.4, you'll find the hunt vendor. You must do let the hunt begin from your grand company after getting second lieutenant to unlock the hunt throughout the rest of the expansions. You're going to go to the moon ward gear and go to the accessories. Now these are going to be 25 nuts per. Just like the Ronkin rings or accessories and Shadowbringers, these are going to be the Endwalker equivalent. But the unfortunate thing is that the rings are not you are not ununique, so you're gonna have to come back a couple of times. But in order to make this a little bit more efficient, you're gonna put your stuff in your saddlebags. So you're gonna get one of each. So in order to get the nuts efficiently, you're gonna do the hunt train. And my server they run three times a day: once in the morning, once in the afternoon, and once late at night. They do up to Stormblood. So you can double down with Shadowbringers and Endwalker at the same time. So you get 160 accessories per 4,000 nuts. So you want to get magic and war. The reason why we're doing this because the other ones are going to be for 55 each. All right, and you get more from the 25 option than the 55 option because you only get 72 out of 4,000 nuts over the 160. Okay, make sure you also do your weekly, which is going to be 100 sacks of nuts per week, and then your daily, which is going to be three sacks of nuts for the first one, four sacks of nuts for the second stack, and then 15 sacks of nuts for the third. So you do that for Endwalker and Shadowbringers as well. Okay, so after you're done getting all the loot that you have, make sure you put them in your retainers and get more so you have to make double trips. After that, head over to your grand company and then we'll turn this stuff in. So here we are at my grand company. So make sure if you have a free company, use the Seal Sweetener 2 buff to get an increased amount of Grand Company Seals. If you can, you can make Grade 3, which are workshops, but Grade 2 work just fine. So base, you have 1845 for these accessories, but with the buff, you get 20,000 or uh, 2030. And then you pass them all in. One thing I do want to make clear that make sure that your main job has the augmented tombstone set because you're going to be using your nuts to upgrade them. Otherwise, you can just do the 24 man raid once per week. The uh, left side is going to cost you 3,000 nuts to upgrade, and your accessories are going to cost you 2,000 nuts for the accessories. Okay? So make sure that your gear is augmented before using your nuts for anything else. Do not waste them on the materia as well because when you're doing the hunt trains, you'll get these clusters. Sometimes you get one, sometimes you get both, sometimes you get nothing. But these will give you a grade 9 and grade 10. Even though grade 10s are pretty much useless at this point, grade 9s are the ones that are more worth it. But don't waste your nuts on materia. So once you have your Grand Company seals taken care of, you're going to use them on a couple things. Number one, retain your ventures. There's other ways of getting these, but if you want to do it this way, you can. These are for obviously leveling up your retainers to level 100 come Dawn Trail, but they also can get you loot that you're going to be using to craft, or sometimes you can get other gear and stuff like that. But this is mostly to get materials or crystals if you're running a low. The other thing is going to be the dark matter for repairs if they don't give us a grade 9 for dawn trail grade eights will go up to level 100 so you're going to use a bunch of these to repair your gear grade six are very important because they are used in airship and submarine repair kits which can self a lot of gill if you're lucky on your server the other thing that i recommend is getting your aetherite tickets to your grand company to go straight to it 
And if you're in the market for gill and you don't want to worry about doing the market board, the items here that sell for 360 gill a piece can make you a crap ton of money at 90,000 green company seals, depending if you have the captain rank. I think it's around 56,000 per 90,000 seals. If you are feeling lucky, you can sell the hardened sap and coke on the market board, which is also used in making submarine parts. And basically, that's about it. You also can do the relic weapon for a Roman Born Heaven's Ward, but it doesn't benefit you at all. Those are the things that you're going to be using your nuts on for Grand Company Seals. Alright, so again guys, make sure that you do your hunts every single day, every single week, and try to do the hunt train as much as possible. Just make sure to shout out to look for a hunt a link shell, and we hopefully will let you know when the hunt will begin. Okay? So guys, that's pretty much going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you're new for more Final Fantasy XIV content and join the first brood. If you guys want to join my Discord server, the link is in the description down below. And if you guys want to support my channel monetarily, I do have YouTube memberships available and a link to my Patreon in the description down below. So until next time, if you ever walk in the glorious light of Lord Bahamut, and as remember, to keep forging ahead.